that's a be freaking geniuses. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to draw and identify common tangents between two circles. And I'm also gonna show you how to identify the external and internal tangents. Okay, so there's three different cases that you might come across because circles that are in the same plane, like these two circles, can intersect in three different ways, okay? They can either intersect at no points, one point, or two point. Okay, so as you can see, these two circles, they're not touching, right? So that means they're not intersecting. Okay, so a case like this has four common tangents. So there's gonna be two basically on the outside, something like that, one up there, and same thing down here, okay? And also they have two common tangents that run kind of to the insides of the circles, all right? So something like this. Okay, now how can we identify the internal and external tangents? Well, one way we can do that is by drawing in the centers of the circle. So let's draw those in really quick. Those are the centers. And then just draw a straight line connecting those two. Okay, now any tangent that crosses this line that you just drew are known as internal tangents, right? So in this case, you can see those would be these red tangents that we drew. And any tangents that don't cross or don't touch this line that we just drew are known as external tangents. And as you can see, they run on the outsides of the circles, right? But then we said these red ones kind of run in between, right? Kind of on the inside of these circles. So that kind of makes sense intuitively. All right, so here is another example of two circles that are not touching, right? And this time you can see that we have one circle inside of the other circle, okay? And in a case like this, there are no common tangents. And the reason for that is because, well, let's just draw a couple tangents, right? So let's draw a tangent to the big circle first, okay? So as you can see, this blue line, it's tangent to the big circle, but it's not tangent to the small circle. Because remember, a tangent is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point, right? So obviously this line right here intersects the big circle right here, but it doesn't even touch the small circle, right? So it's not tangent to the small circle. Okay, and it's the same case if we drew a tangent to the small circle. So this tangent, this line right here, is tangent to the small circle, but it's not tangent to the big circle, right? Because, again, a tangent only intersects a circle at one point, and you can see that this red line intersects the big circle at two points, right? And when a line crosses through a circle through two points, that's actually called a secant, right? Not a tangent. But in any case, these two circles have no common tangents. All right, now this example is obviously kind of similar to the last one with one small but important difference. These two circles are touching, right? They're intersecting, and this is gonna be the second case, they're intersecting at a single point, which in this case would be right here. And actually let's just do that in blue, right? So if I drew a straight line down here, you can see that this time, this line is tangent to both circles, right? It intersects each circle at exactly one point. Okay, so in a case like this, where one circle is inside of the other circle, but they're actually touching at one point, then there's only one common tangent. Okay, and again, to check for internal and external tangents, we can just draw the centers of the circle. So the center of the small circle is about there. The center of the big circle is a little higher, right? It's maybe about there. And so if we draw a straight line from one center to the other, we can see that none of the tangents that we drew, or the single tangent that we drew, intersects this line, right? So there's no internal, common internal tangents here. So that means this line down here, this tangent, is an external tangent. Okay, now here we have another case where they're only touching at a single point, right? So that single point is right here. So in a case like this, we would have a tangent that looks something like that, right? So as you can see, this line is tangent to this circle, right? It only intersects at one point, and same thing to this circle, only at the single point. And this setup's kind of similar to the very first example we went over, right? Because as you can see, we have some external tangents as well. Okay, so in a case like this, where they're just touching at a single point, you can see that we have three common tangents. 
Now to check for the internal and external tangents, we can just draw our centers and draw a straight line from one to the other. And then we can see that the only tangent that's crossing this line is this red one, right? So this red one would be the internal tangent. And then these blue ones are known as the, again, external tangents. All right, so we covered intersecting at no points, intersecting at one point. And so this is the case where they intersect at two points, right? So you can see these two circles are overlapping, right? So they intersect at these two points right here. Okay, and overlapping circles have two common tangents, and they would simply be on the outsides. So again, something out here like that, and then something down here, kind of like that. Okay, and we can check, once again, for internal and external tangents by drawing our center here and the center for the big circle here, right? If you draw a straight line, you can see that neither of our tangents cross that line, so again, these are both external tangents. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.